Welcome back one and all to Darksiders 3. I am the Dark Seraph and last time... Apparently I have to call the elevator. Good thing to know. I'm pretty sure her gate is over on the west end. I know it's around Haven. Cthulhu monsters, Cthulhu fish. Cthulhu fish killed me. In the second. Manageable in the second, I should say. Down the Tulu fish. A piece of adamantine. And I see another shiny up right over here. It's a demonic artifact. Now I'm gonna swim right up to the surface. I don't know what I'm doing. I do know this friggin' cool as hell that Fury can walk on water. Again, saying it's cool is not an ice bone. I, I think that's genuinely pretty cool. Nope, I know you're around here. Die, die, die.
Okay. Larger cluster. Shard, which oh, lots of things. Toward the church. And I'm pretty sure I'm on the west end. Dead, whatever it is. church even. Up, up, and there just pops into existence. Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps, but not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies! But, imagine if it were true. 
Imagine if you, and I, truly set out to give the world a direction. Order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Okay, this is not going to be I broke the barrier.
Oh my god! Does anything give you pride? In the middle of a dodge and oh, and right as she was going to summon the head. Yes, I can freeze it in place. For a short while. Damn it! This thing just gets in the damn way. And the shield's back. No, don't do that. Hardly performance worth bragging about, no what? Hardly performance worth bragging about, no what? Ah!
I like the speed of the Storm Hollow more. Egomaniac, I love that. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress! 
The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. Watch her! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! No! Is it not? You know what else I envy? Your power! And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine! <laughs> Pride had it right. The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead! All seven sins and the horsemen! No! Oh, but I! I knew better! <laughs> jealousy, self jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horsemen, became both my sword and my shield. The other sins of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! That can't be the end. Lord of Hollows is gonna save me. I'm calling it right now. Equestria is enjoying its longest period of harmony. Ignore that. You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. The makers? Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? Just speak to me like this. Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I have learned that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. 
left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed, and yet they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh. Worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words... Kinda picked up on that early. You have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthay. You'll see. Still have all the cores. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Darksiders 3 as I go talk to the big maker boy. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.